It was a day to remember crime victims and their families with the release of dozens of doves. Kim Goldman and her son released a white dove in memory of her murdered brother, Ron Goldman. Marcella Leach released a dove in memory of her daughter, Marcy Nichols, who was murdered by her ex-boyfriend. These and other violent crimes thrust survivors into what can only be described as a never-ending nightmare. That just changes your life totally and you become a victim yourself and it's a horrendous thing that you don't want to wish on any living soul. Prior to a change in the California Constitution, criminals had nearly all the rights. He was charged with the murder and he ran around for a year and a half on bail. The passage of Marcy's law in 2008 keeps suspects behind bars and gives crime victims and survivors the right to an attorney. We have to make sure that now that we've given infor victims enforceable rights, that we actually show them we are going to enforce those rights. The Survive and Thrive Expo let crime victims know that they have the support of law enforcement. With OC Sheriff's cadets now trained in helping survivors cope. You know, it could happen to any of us. It doesn't matter what community you live in. It doesn't matter how wealthy the community is. You could be a victim of crime. So you need to have compassion for those who have been. A 5K run was a show of solidarity for crime victims and their families. Not walking in the same shoes, of course, but acknowledging the potential for violence and the need for support we all share. In Tustin, Jennifer Bauman, OC Crime Catchers.